2020 has been a roller coaster of a year and not really for anything good but hopefully we can turn a corner at some point very very soon and provide a little bit more direction to every single one of our lives. With that said I'm going to provide you with some new year's resolution ideas for 2021 specific to golf which you can carry out and hopefully stick to all the way through next year. So let's get stuck in. This is Nick Does Golf. Hey golfers and welcome back to my final video of 2020. Wow, what a roller coaster of a year it has been, as we all know. It has been far from normal and I think we all wish that we could get back to some sort of normality. But hopefully that is not too far away and we can get there. So what I thought I would do was create some content on some New Year's resolutions which you might want to take forwards into 2021 with your golf. Perfect. So I'm going to provide you with 10 ideas which you might want to consider. Maybe you want to draw up two or three which you might want to sort of take forwards with you into 2021 and it might make a hell of a lot of difference to your golf. If you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the like button as well on this video. Let's get stuck in. Number one is record your stats every time you play or do it after your round. Things like fairways and regulation, greens and regulation, how many putts you've taken, which side of the fairway you've missed off the tee. Things like this are going to be easily identifiable if you can do this on a piece of paper after every single round. You'll be able to identify which part of your game is at its weakest and what areas you need to work on in order to improve. Number two is all about alignment. How many of you have alignment sticks but don't actually use them? Well, in 2021, you need to make sure that you're using them because more often than not, something that's going wrong in your swing is down to your alignment. So get them out. If you don't actually have any of those, use a golf club. Guarantee this will be much better to do rather than focusing on something in your swing because nine out of 10 times, it's all about your alignment. So do it. Number three is all about allocating more time to you actually improving your golf game. Now this could be something as simple as adding more days during the week, you going down the driving range, or it could be doing something at home with a putting mirror, a putting mat, doing some drills at home. Something as simple as that is gonna help you improve your golf game rather than probably what you're doing now. So integrating more time to help you improve and understand what you're actually doing is certainly gonna benefit you when you go out onto the golf course. Number four is adding some sort of fitness training to what you're currently doing during your week. This has got a whole host of benefits to not only just your golf, but to your everyday life. Whether it's cardio training, strength training, or functional training, any sort of training is certainly gonna be more beneficial than none. But if none of that floats your boat, do some stretching, any sort of flexibility training, yoga in fact, all these things are gonna be great for your golf game. So add this in. Number five is read more golf books, whether it's autobiographies, psychological books, uh, guides to playing golf, anything, you'll be surprised what you might come across and you might want to implement these into your actual game. One thing that you will notice is there is not one set way of playing this wonderful game. Practice makes permanent because golf is not a game of perfect. Number six is writing down the best shots that you've played from that last round. You might want to do this when you're recording your stats because it just makes it easier. So things such as, what shot did you play? How did you play it? How did it make you feel? What was the end result? All these things are going to be so beneficial because when you get back into that scenario again, you'll know exactly the sort of thing that you need to be doing and the things that you need to be thinking. This is a great way of ingraining positive mental attitude, which is a massive trait which you need for golf. Number seven is track your progress. Social media is such a powerful tool these days, so why not use it? You've got things like Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. These are all great things where you can track the things that you're doing with your swing, how you're developing as a player. All these things are great. And if you're able to put these out there for people to see, not only yourself, then they can also provide you with different insights, be very helpful. This is something that I've benefited from a hell of a lot, so why not use it? Don't be afraid of putting yourself out there. Thousands and thousands of people are doing exactly this and it's such a great tool to use. Number eight is simply playing with better players. 
when I was an amateur, playing with different people and who were better than me certainly brought my game on a hell of a lot because I could visualise what they were doing, what works well for them. I could also pick their brains as well, which is an awesome idea. So why not do this? This is a very positive move and you'll be able to learn a hell of a lot. Number nine is create a set routine for yourself. Golf is all about consistency and that is what we want as well as other things in life. So making sure that you have a set routine as to what you're doing prior to your round, for example, getting your stuff ready so you're organized or whether it's a pre-shot routine, having this in there and making sure that it's consistent every time you play golf or you play a shot, this is certainly gonna benefit you in the long term and certainly provide better scores. It's just like when you get straight out of bed, I bet you do the same thing over and over again on a daily basis. So why not do this for your golf? And number 10, my final one is learn to accept whatever happens. Golf is hard, sport is hard. So you need to make sure that whenever you are playing, you enjoy it and you're out there to have fun. Golf is one of the most difficult sports out there. And as soon as that ball has left the club face, it is totally out of your control. So as long as you've committed 100% to it, there is literally nothing you can do. So you need to learn to deal with the consequences and just accept what has happened. If you take this mentality forward, I guarantee your enjoyment rate will go from here to here. So implement this and I guarantee that your golf will be much, much better. So there we have it. There are my 10 New Year's resolution ideas for you to take forward into 2021 with your golf. I am certainly going to take a couple of these and put them into my game and see where it takes me. It's always good to have goals, whether they are short term, medium term or long term, because you've always got something to strive for. And once you've reached that, you can just set new ones. So I hope you found this video useful and the content within it is going to be helpful for you to go forward and provide yourself with a little bit more structure heading into next year. Guys, if you like that video, give it a thumbs up and hit the like button ding and leave a comment down below. Let me know which ones that you like and that you are going to implement into your own plans for next year. And like I said at the top of the video, make sure that you hit the subscribe button if you are new here. I really appreciate the support heading into 2021. As well as this, make sure you check out my social media platforms on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. It is at Does Golf, so you can interact with me, keep up to date with everything that I'm doing. Make sure you do this, I really, really appreciate it. So that's the final video for me in 2020. There's gonna be a whole host of new content coming your way in 2021. So make sure you follow me on my journey. It's gonna be a good one. Thanks very much for watching guys, and see you all on the other side.